or good night or whenever time you're making this. As you can see by the top right corner, it is 7.35 a.m. So what else is better to do at 7.35 a.m. than make a Roblox video ranking all the Roblox games? I don't know. So yeah, I don't sound very enthusiastic, but let's get into it. So first of all, hot take time, adopt me. I'm actually going to put adopt me in B tier because adopt me, as much as we all hate it and it's controversial, is actually a very, very well-made game. And the developers behind it are very passionate for it. So anyways, Ninja Battle haven't played. Arsenal. Great game. Another game that the developers are quite passionate about. I wouldn't say it's the best game on Roblox. Or maybe even in the top 10. But it is a good game. Bee Swarm Simulator. I've never been able to get into it. But I do recognize that it is a very well-made game. So yeah, I'll put it in there. There's going to be very few games ranked low on my list, if you can't tell. Because this isn't really my personal opinion. This is just how well-made the games are. Anyways, A Bizarre Day. I don't really like JoJo games. And they're pretty... And... I don't know, I know I just said that I would be ranking them more on how well they're made, but A Bizarre Day isn't as well made as, like, Arsenal or Adopt Me or something like that. And it's not really my type of game, so I'm going to put it in C. Now, don't get me wrong, it's a great game, it's just not my cup of tea. Skyblock, I used to love this game, but... For some reason, I kind of got really eh about it. So, instead of putting it down in, like, D tier or an S tier, as my past thoughts, I'm going to put it middle of the pack, B tier, with a dot me and B swarm. Build a boat for treasure, S tier. This game is just so well made. Well, no. It's just so well made. It has so much story. It's so easy to have fun in and is such a classic even if it's not really your cup of tea it's the people who made this knew that it would be some it's just it's a great game it's so fun breaking point c tier one once again not really my cup of tea camping the original camping blew us all the way but then again it's not really that, like, wow, this game must have been so hard to make. But it is still pretty, pretty good game. It's fun. Camping 2, on the other hand, wasn't as good. It was, it didn't really live up to the original. So I'm going to put it in C. Dungeon Quest, A tier. Fun game. They're quite, like, not really... That original and the concept of an MMORPG, but there had never really been one major one on Roblox before Dungeon Quest. Yeah, Dungeon Quest was really fun back in the day. Flicker. B tier. Again, I know there's a lot of B tiers right now. I cannot read what this game is, so I'm just going to put it in haven't played. Phantom Forces. I played Phantom Forces once. And I mean it was okay. So I'll put it there. Fleet of Facility. A tier. It's got an original concept. It's got all that jazz. It's a... And it's just kind of fun. It's very nerve-wracking. Tower Heroes. Tower Heroes is actually like an okay tower defense game. I understand that some people like it, so I'm going to put it in B tier. Dahood, I think we got our first. Actually, I'm going to put it in C tier because it's got such a bad community. And it's just, 
and it's not that fun of a game, but it's not like a blank base plate. People actually put effort into it. Hotel, it was better than camping too. Oh, I'm gonna put it in this tier. It's actually scarier than camping one. It's so gonna move the original camping to A tier. So yeah, here hotel can go into there. Same with mansion. Now jailbreak. Jailbreak. You can say it copied prison life all you want, but prison life doesn't own that genre of game. Prison life does not own the prison escape game genre. So jailbreak is actually a semi unusual concept, and it is pretty fun. So I'm gonna put it in A tier. Knife ability test. I don't know knife ability test enough to rank it, so I'm gonna put it in haven't played. So Mad City originally would be in D tier because it's was basically a copy of Jailbreak, but with the superhero thing, Mad City did become quite original. So I'm gonna put it in A tier. Meep City, uh, Meep City is a classic, guys. Come on, uh, I used. To, if you're wondering, Meep City doesn't have the best reputation, and it's it's not a great reputation now, really. But it's a classic. It's I've got good memories of it, and all that jazz. So, Murder Mystery Two now. Uh, come on, guys. That's an S tier. The fact that it's made you say this popular and withstand the test of time throughout all these years is great. And it is a pretty fun game. Ninja Legends. Ninja Legends is a simulator and not, like, that, like, special of one. It's just another simulator. So yeah, Noob Train, it's, it's a funny game. But once again, not really an actual game. Some of these games, there was a lot of effort put into and all that jazz. Anyways, Piggy, I respect Minitune as a developer. Although I don't play the game that much, uh, it's definitely an A-tier game. Prison Life. Okay, back in the day... Prison life was something else. So I'm going to put it with Jailbreak and Mad City. Because that only seems fair. What game is this? I I don't know what that game is. Royal, Royal High. Now. For the. Uh, now I don't really get Royal High that much. But for the same reason as Adult Me, it's well made and I respect the developer, so I'm going to put it there. Robloxy in high school, S tier. The amount of content you can make with that game is quite something. As a content creator, Robloxy in high school is where it's at. You gotta make some video. You gotta make at least how many videos do I have? I have like three videos in Robloxy in high school. It's just so great to make content in. It's just a fun game to mess around, and it's character editor is something. It's an S-tier game. You cannot tell me otherwise. That game is so fun. Uh, so let me tell you a backstory for me. So, I never had a Windows computer, and therefore I was never able to get Planet Coaster. But me, as I don't know if I've actually said this, but me as a big roller coaster nerd... I really wanted it. So Theme Park Tycoon 2 was like my only option. Apart from those other weird mobile ones. So I used to grind that game so much. It's it's great. Tower of Heck. It's a fun obby. But you do have to respect that some of these games are a lot more impressive. In terms of like they were made. Well, Welcome to Bloxburg is an A tier game. So yeah, A tier. Never really understood the hype around work at a pizza place, but maybe it's just because it's so old. Finally, Field Trip Z, I think that is. Uh, B tier. 
So yeah, this is our, this is my tier list. Yeah.